Hello, my friend. Come in. Come in. Come warm yourself by the fire. Quite a storm we have going on out there tonight, isn't it? What is that? Your car has broken down? Here. Sit while I go call for help. With the storm, the road has washed out, but someone will be alone to hell. In the meantime, relax while I pour us a nice hot cup of tea. Are you comfortable? So, what is that you have there? It's a doll for you, little girl. Oh my, it's beautiful. Such craftsmanship. I hope she'd take good care of it. That reminds me of a story. Would you like me to tell you the story while we wait? I'm sure your little girl will take great care of this doll. But this story is of one little girl who did not. Father will be home late. Oh, he will? Yes. Mom, do you ever think that maybe Dad might be doing something on his business trips? Winnie, your dad is working long hours to provide for us. I think you should be grateful. Mom, it's just that... I talk to your father every day and night. What more can I do? I wasn't trying to say anything, Mom. Winnie, just know that we both love you very much. Oh, and speaking of which, your father got you some new dolls. Really? Yes, really. He put them in your room. And I brought down your old box of toys from the attic. I thought those things were locked away. No, we placed them up there after you boxed them away, remember? Okay, Mom. Hey, what are you eating? <laughs> Mom made me one every special PB&Js. He said, your sad old box of toys is in your room. I heard that too. What are you going to do about it? What do you mean? Mm, your toys. <laughs> your toys were always so weird and ugly. They always used to freak me out. You should have taken better care of them. They were just toys. Are you sure about that? Toys are just toys. No, Winnie. Toys are little people with their own special personality. You know what I just said. Do you remember in A Little Princess how the girl's father said that if you walk away, the dolls watch us. But when we come back, they go back to their positions? Yeah, it was a great movie. But it was just a movie. I guess. But it was a good film. Mm. Mm. This is good. Ugh, homework sucks. Oh, 11.15 already? All of you stupid old toys. I'll be giving you all away tomorrow. I have outgrown you all. But Daddy doesn't seem to think so. Maybe you can give some other kids hopes and dreams. Then kill them. Daddy 
I don't want them. I hate them! <sighs> we should do it now and be done with. They shan't. Let the little brat think it was just a dream. Then we unleash the nightmare. Yes, the two of you tied the brat down and be careful this time. Such a pretty little girl in my pocket. Don't go away from me because I view all the time. I want you to be my special friend forever and ever. I wait for you in the special place where no one can harm us. I will be your special friend. Oh, young girl. We'll dance till the sun fades and get the sweet rainbows Because I have a little girl in my pocket <laughs> Liar <coughs> This is crying gap Painting toxins on your nails and paperwork This should do nicely Are you too finished yet? Look like we're finished. Well, hurry up. There. That should keep us still. Thomas, catch. Oh, a nail file. Nice. Oh, and a needle. Albert. A stapler. Just like she used to reattach my ears. Huh? Oh. Oh. She has unleashed us today. And now, we get a second chance to repay our owner before she passes us off to another. She has forgotten us and put us away when she needed our love the most. The time has come for her to remind it that us dolls are never to be abused and forgotten so easily. We must show her our pain when she mistreated us and took us for granted. Let's show her how little bad girls get theirs in the end. We should just kill her now and be done with it. I would like to go back to sleep. We loved you, Winnie. How could you do that to us? Let's ask the brat. Thomas, get her with this. Albert? Pinch her nose until she wakes up. Shut up, Winnie. Listen to me very carefully. There is a pen in your ear and a nail file against your throat. Make one sound we don't like and you will lose your pretty little head. Understand? Mm-hmm. Okay, now that we have your attention, when I remove the gag, you are going to answer our questions, or you die. Are we clear so far? Uh-huh. Take it out, Albert. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. poor baby feels so sad and alone. I want to know why you put us away when we needed each other must. And after you did all of those horrible things to us. I, I had to grow up and be apart from you. I didn't want to be a baby anymore. I couldn't be reminded how naive I was. I just wanted to be a part of the crowd. I wanted to be a girl girl. That's not good enough. You unleashed your selfish pain on us. Hit us threw us around. How do you like it now? Your mother was the one who saved us. She patched us up, at least tried to make us whole again. You are a pathetic, ungrateful, spoiled little brat. There is no one to save you now, Winnie. You know what I don't like about you, Winnie? Look at me! I hate how much of a two-faced witch you are. You want sweet things, but 
then you burn them out of misplaced anger. You act sweet and childish when it suits you, but hate anything childlike. You hate us, all of us, because we remind you of your father. You cried as your father's affairs burned you to your soul. Then you burned us in that fire pit until we screamed. Did you enjoy it, Winnie? Hearing our melting plastic blister and boil? To feel our seams rip and tear? I will always remember that deranged expression you wore as you melted my friends in the barbecue pit. You said you hated all of us. I didn't harm you. You burned, tortured, mutilated, and killed many of our good friends. Don't lie to us. Your mother was your saving grace. That helped us spare you. You packed us away in that box, never to be seen again. And now, it's time to repay the favor. You can't. I, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I was young and stupid and angry and... I didn't know what I was doing. Liar! No, no, I am not lying. Please, please just let me go. Ah! Ah! Winnie! Winnie! Open the door! Do you know what happens when dolls cry? <laughs> Nothing. No one notices or cares. For every cry from a doll, is a year of pain. Repent your sins, Winnie. And we might free you. Do you repent, Winnie? No. Don't you see what you did? What you brought upon yourself? I, I, I'm sorry. Please. She seems humbled. See, guys? She's just a child, after all. You're wasting your breath. I repent. Please, let me go. <sighs> and I her, Thomas. She's lying. Thomas, she learned her lesson. And I her. <sighs> Thomas! <laughs> Why should I repent? You're just a bunch of useless, evil toys. You always mocked me and my pain. You added to my misery. I hate you. I hate you all. Daddy didn't want me to tell. He messed with my head. He gave me evil toys. I hated everything you gave me. I don't care what I did to you. You hear me? I don't care what I did to you. You're all disgusting. I wish I burned you all a long time ago. Who's in there? Open the door. You shouldn't have lied, Winnie. You should have repented your sins. No, you're all murderous dolls. I hate you. I hate you. Then you know where your fate lies. <coughs> Justice is served. Oh my god. Winnie! Winnie! I'll call an ambulance. <laughs> Stay with me, honey. Mommy can save you now. Mommy... Sorry about that. Didn't mean to scare you. There was a spider on the mantle. Ah, I see from the clock that we have some time left before help is going to be arriving. Would you care to hear another? Excellent. And that spider just reminded me of the perfect one. Yep, another sunny day, go figure. Temperatures once again will be up in the 90s, topping off at around 105 degrees. Hard to believe it's been 10 years since the meteor strike. Well, folks, from my stacks of wax, here's an oldie but a goodie. And remember, if you can't get cool, be cool. Hmm, what do we have here? Ah, a potato. A little shriveled up, but then aren't we all? Well, wonder who this could be. Hmm, girl looks to be carrying an AK-47. I've got a hoe and you. 
the little shriveled up potato. I think she's got the advantage. I think I can make back to the house. Oh well, let's try a wave and a smile and see how that goes. Hello. Hmm. Hello. A little young to be out here all on your own, don't you think? Just passing through, hoping for a handout. Maybe you're good for something after all. <laughs> I don't have much, but you're welcome to stay the night. Oh? Don't get much company. A human voice would be nice to hear. I hope you got more than that to share. I bet you have a ton of food and supply stockpiled up, don't you? I don't know about that, but I'm happy to share what I have. Bullets? You got bullets in there? No, I haven't much use for those. Well, better not try something, old man. I'm a pretty good shot with this. <laughs> I bet you are. Come on inside, and we'll get you something to eat. We? Hey, would you stop waving that thing around before you put someone's eye out? Is there someone else in there? Nobody else lives here. We? When you get to be my age and living all alone, you tend to talk to yourself enough that eventually you start to answer. After you. Age before beauty. <laughs> That's an oldie. You can make yourself at home in the living room if you like. Where are you going? Just down the hall to the kitchen to fix us a bite. Kind of dim in here. Candles are hard to come by these days, so have to make do. I'll come along in case you need help. Suit yourself. No wonder it's so dark in here. You have blankets over the windows. To keep the light from getting out. Hey, if it's just you, how come this door is locked? Got some good stuff stored in there, don't you? Hmm. Well? It goes to the basement. My wife's canned goods are down there. Nowadays, that's better than gold. Come on. Never mind about that. Let's go eat. I'm hungry. Have a seat. Hmm. Corn? Beans? No meat? Huh? Uh, uh, no. Um, no meat. You have meat in the basement, don't you? Do I have to ask again? All right, all right. I, I, I have some salted meat in the basement. I've been saving it for a special occasion. I see you have the days marked on the calendar. Keeping track of the days? Yes, I've actually been able to keep up, which makes today October 31. Halloween? <laughs> yes, it is. Well, I guess I'm your first trick-or-treater. I'd say the only. Let's take a look in that basement, old man. I'm in the mood for a treat. How about some of that meat? I guess I could go down and get some if you like. Okay, go get some. Hey, wait up. Open it. Really? I don't mind going down to get it. No, I'll go. I'll bet you have something good down here. Nope, I'm going down. After all, it's my treat. <gasps> Nope. I reckon it was my trick. Yep, that was good timing. Had just run out the other day, now we got us some fresh meat again.